Today I am recording one of my illustration sets. It's about alphabet inspired Assassin's Creed fan art. If you don't know what Assassin's Creed is, it's just a series of video games that I used to like a lot. Not anymore, but the old ones I still like, so those are the ones that I'm focusing on for this set. I'm up to the letter T. So T is for Templar, is the name of this illustration. At first I thought I would do a painting of a historical Templar knight, like the ones in the first game. I had this idea in my head of a Templar standing holding a sword and looking at the horizon. So I drew that, but then I tried to come up with different variations. But I just kept going to the same theme as the first thumbnail. And then I remembered that Elise from Assassin's Creed Unity was a Templar. So I changed my mind and I decided to draw her instead. Only because I felt the night was not as fun to draw as I had thought before. So I came up with a few different thumbnails for my new idea. And in the end I chose to do two of them. I drew both of them bigger on the next page. I went with a mid-body and with a portrait drawn. I used watercolor to lay the initial look. I kind of gave up with the one on the left after a bit of coloring. And since the portrait one was looking better and was more fun looking for me, I decided to work on that one. As you can see, it's a very rough and unfinished sketch, but that's okay, it's pretty much all I need as a guide. I'll redraw the sketch digitally. I am using Clip Studio Paint on the Surface Pro tablet. more about my project. On this Assassin's Creed Alphabet illustration set, I am only focusing on the older games, because those are the ones that I really liked. I used to love this franchise so much, and I've done so many fun arts of the characters, like so many, too many I would say. But the last one I played was Odyssey, and it was so bad. I thought the story was bad, and the gameplay was awful. Especially that, I guess they tried to copy Shadow of Mordor's captain system, where Sauron's orcs try to hunt you around the map. So they tried to copy that, using mercenaries instead of orcs but it was all badly done, like they failed to program it properly, or they couldn't program it properly. Anyways, after playing it, I just felt like all the interest I had for the Assassin's Creed franchise was gone. So that's my explanation as to why I'm painting only the older games. The new ones, they are not for me. But if you like them, that is fine too. I'm not here trying to change them or anything. Anyway, back to the painting. After the sketch, I just laid down the main colors. I tried to stick with the same color scheme as in the watercolor sketch. And then it was just a matter of rendering. 
I wanted her to look like she was lit from behind to make a nice contrast with the background. She's not supposed to be evil, but I did want her to look a bit mysterious. I also left parts of the canvas showing since that's the kind of look that I like. I also try to make a textured look using textured brushes. And sorry for all the background noise if you can hear it. Not only is there a construction going on, but there's also like a daycare. And I don't have like a fancy microphone. I'm just recording this straight on the Surface Pro. Between the kids screaming and the sounds of the flamethrower and drilling, it is what it is. I was thinking that maybe once I finish all the alphabet, I will make a slideshow to show all of them. And since I started them years ago, I think it will be interesting to see the way the style changes. But that's way ahead in the future. I still have six more illustrations to go before I finish the set. And hopefully I can focus on finishing this one. Like always, I do have other painting projects. Here's the final look. At the end, I added the words T is for Templar, so it matches with all the previous ones in the set. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.